Welcome back. Debate surrounding the anti-cow slaughter law has resurfaced in Karnataka after animal husbandry minister K. Venkatesh made a remark on cow slaughter. The controversy erupted after the Congress minister questioned that if buffaloes can be slaughtered, why not cows? These remarks were made after the minister was asked a question about repealing this particular law. Condemning the remark, the BJP has now hit back at the party, listening to what the minister had to say and the reactions that followed. अदने दुड्डीला कुटीला वो दुड कुटीला अदने ना निर्णय ना दुड्डू बजट बड़ा कड़वे मर्डर हैं तेरे सर कैपिटल स्वार्थ के लिए सर पोजीशन असंभव नहीं नवीन तीर माने तकों डिला और हिंदी इधर का बीजेपी और इन मर्डर हैं वो दिखते का बिल्कुल नहीं रहा अदर ले वो ये एमए के लिए कोणा मत्ते एमए के लिए दिया चर्चे Slaughtering the cows. Cows have been worshipped by Hindus, and in this our country, our country, we worship the cows. With this kind of attitude, with this kind of arrogance, and this kind of having anti-Hindu stand or anti-cow, is something which is not appreciable by anybody. Is this a needless controversy or is it something that hurts the sentiments of the voters of Karnataka as the BJP alleges? Opening that up to the guests that join us on this panel, Madhu and Rao, Karnataka BJP spokesperson joins us and spokesperson of uh, the Karnataka Pradesh Congress, Sanket Yanagi also with me. And Mr. Yanagi, I'd like to begin by asking you, the BJP says that this is nothing but appeasement, which is why you came out and said that uh, if buffaloes can be slaughtered, then why not cows, despite knowing how sacred the cow is for Hindus? Firstly, let me say that statement of the BJP is of double standard. When they allow the cow slaughter in the state of Goa, Daman and Diyu, Dadra and Nagar Haveli, Pondicherry, Kerala and Arunachal, and all the seven sisters of the seven sisters and in West Bengal, and there is no sentiment being affected for the BJP. And most of them are governed and ruled by the BJP. When BJP comes to the state where Congress is ruling or any other party other than the BJP is ruling, mm. they have a problem. Actually, they don't have the problem with the cow. They have the problem with the government. They have the problem with the people. People have given the mandate to the Congress. They have the problem with the people's mandate. More than anything else, they are finding stone in, even in the curd. So the BJP has to understand how has been its approach in the states which are ruled by the BJP in respect of the states where the cow slaughter has been allowed? Mm. They understand in other states that it is economical and it is economically viable and it is necessary for those states. Mm. But in so far as Karnataka, they think it is affecting their sentiments. The cow in Karnataka is not different from the cow in Goa. Mm. The cow in Karnataka is not different from the cow in Manipur and other states. So the BJP has no locus to issue, raise this issue mm. and it has become politically and morally bankrupt and it is showing its uh, greed for power or to raise some issue which is irrelevant at point of time. Yes. Mr. Rao, it's hypocrisy on the BJP's side. That's what the Congress says today. But even when the uh, bill was brought in, when the law was brought in, it was brought in by uh, the way of an ordinance in 2021 by the BJP government. Even then questions were raised to why it was being hastily done. Well, good evening. I think, uh, uh, is it to be speaking, uh, Mr. Rao, go ahead. has lost face uh, after the election results are out. They were supposed to give the guarantees which they had uh, promised for. Uh, I thought for a moment that Congress would be able to cater to the needs of the people as to what the guarantees they had uh, offered to the people. But unfortunately, when they came to know that they are not, not been able to uh, deliver it in time, uh, this is a deflectionary tactic by the Congress party. Why did you have to start about all these things now? Did the BJP start this? We never started this. What was the necessity for you guys to start it? I mean, this is but for natural for the Congress party of appeasement politics from the day one. Don't you know that? 
point the second point see this is all anti hindu sentiments i was just listening to my uh, good friend mr enigi is speaking about the other states now let me tell you one thing even mr digvijay singh in 2015 was uh, uh, was was on record who told that they were pioneer pioneer in uh, 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 banning in all 24 states way back in 1955 and even backing the central uh, central government for the banning across india and now we have a government which says that oh why only buffaloes needs to be killed why can't uh, we slaughter the cows no this is nothing but the double standards of the congress party the point is only so much uh, i just want to tell that this is nothing but appeasement politics now they have to cater to the needs of the people who have voted for them what else do you expect from the congress party Mr. Yanagi, this is needless controversy. Talk about the guarantees that uh, have been fulfilled, though, by uh, uh, the Congress's government. They said so, uh, Mr. Rao, that they will do that. They will take that decision in the first cabinet meeting, which they did. They approved all five guarantees. But uh, why rake this issues up? You're just trying to muddy the waters, uh, Mr. Yanagi. Is what the opposition says. You spoke about the hijab, then you spoke about the revision in textbooks, and now you're talking about uh, cow slaughter. Mr. Yanagi, is it to Mr. Badu or to myself? Puna. Mr. Yanagi, go ahead. Sanket Yanagi, if you can hear me. We'll try and we'll try and reconnect that line with the Congress's spokesperson, but the BJP spokesperson continues to be with us, and I would like to ask you that, uh, Mr. Rao, that the Congress said that they would be uh, delivering those promises that they uh, made before elections in the first cabinet meeting. The first cabinet meeting happened a few days ago, and the Chief Minister did come out and announce that all of them would be implemented. So now, if That's they're not. looking at other issues in the state, then what's wrong? They are the party in we power. Have, we, we have absolutely no problem in they catering to the needs of the people or they having uh, responding to the uh, people's mandate. Fair enough. But the point is only so much. Why did you have to take up all these issues at this point of time when these were all not election issues at all? Don't we now get to know the true colors of the Congress party? I mean, let me tell you one thing. I just want to remind the Congress party of only... Uh, just a just a uh, back, backflash for them. Way back in 1954, I remember Sampurna Nanda, who was the chief minister of the Congress Party. He defied the Nehru's orders and told that I will ban the cow slaughter in the state of UP. I mean, this is the Congress Party now in 2023 saying that we will we will we will slaughter the cow. I mean, this is really I tell you, this is double standards of this this Congress Party. And they're only, you know, appeasement politics they're trying to do. I mean, look at the look at the look at the intention behind this. You are trying to rake up the sentiments of the Hindus. For what reason? What is the intention of your government now? Please, I would only beg the government that kindly cater to what you have promised of the guarantees. They are now running away from the guarantees. Now they say they're putting conditions for the guarantees. I mean, this is but for natural for anyone for that matter. To deflect the issues, and they are at this best. Mr. Yanagi, you accuse the BJP of being hypocritical on this issue because there are several other BJP ruled states uh, that have a similar, uh, that do not have such a law and that allow for cow slaughter. But it's the same allegation that the BJP applies to you that many Congress leaders in the past have come out and made uh, and have batted for an anti cow slaughter law. In fact, it finds mention uh, in the Article 48 of our Constitution as well. So, Article 48 of the Constitution is only the, the matter which is called as the, the directive principles of the state policy. In the sense, the state must endeavor to do certain things, and it is one of them. And to the extent possible, we have already regulated another legislations, which are the cattle which are permissible for the slaughter, which are not. We have already regulated under the law. And there is a scientific reason for the same, and there is also a reason which is accepted by the finance department and has been suggested and supported by the financial finance department's suggestions. And now the question that is a reason here is that the BJP government has promised goshalas. How many goshalas they have already delivered when they were in power? And the next question is 
what is the extent of amount which they have released for the goshala these are all the questions which they do not have an answer and the decision of the bjp in karnataka it was only politically oriented or more so it was for the polarization or for an appeasement not in a democratic society they do not worry or care about the people's problem or the people's concern and some hindus they, they are talking about go mata here in karnataka and uh, when they go to Ma the other states like goa and manipur and other seven sisters said they do, do they forget about mata or go they say go by mata so this is what uh, the, the tendency of the bjp and i think to be given serious thought about bjp's double standard statements and i i would only say bjp has been frustrated because of losing of the power even by operation lotus this time they wanted to try for the operation lotus and the former minister has already made a remark as on the date of counting that he would even think of operation lotus by any other mm. means sure. and they have lost all the opportunity to come to power by the back door and that is the frustration level of the bjp they do not tolerate anything and in so far as five promises is arts concerned it is already in the in the pipeline it has been updated from time to time the bjp which has not fulfilled its promises over the period of 5 years in karnataka four and a half for three and a half years in karnataka and also in nine years in delhi mm. so they are asking someone like why you, why you are not performing your promises in sure. even, not even a month is over so sure. this is what the bjp is frustrated but mr yanagi mr yanagi when you it, say that the bjp has condition. sure but mr yanagi when you say that the bjp in other states does not have a law but want to wants to impose a particular law only as per convenience in certain states the congress would be accused of that as well because the, this law is in place in several other congress ruled states including rajasthan so it all depends see there are multiple things which we need to concentrate here number one the people people's interest of uh, the, the 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 income so many aspects no, not just that and the population of the cow or the cow slaughter and the number of uh, the hospitals number of amenities number of goshalas everything needs to be say, accounted and calculated mm. and it is not just because we have a sentiment for cow or or, or someone something else it is not so we have to we have to be practical and we have been practical so in rajasthan it is some other issues in karnataka that is not an issue in in mm. uh, goa that is the, the issue in so far as cow is entirely different so it all differs from state to state sure and the uh, particular religion to religion it all differs from the area to area geographical sure. nature and climate lot many things are necessary to be understood so sure, it differs from state to state and karnataka does not need such a law mr rao that's what the congress says last comment to you i i, I think uh, mr ganigi has answered uh, the point himself and that is one of the reason why it is under article 48 and why it is been made a state subject precisely now we feel in, in we feel that in karnataka it should be banned it has been banned now if somewhere somewhere else it need not be banned that is a different issue now have to equate every state to every state i think uh, mr ganigi has got the answer he himself has told now therefore my i am asking only one thing why is it required it should not be banned mm. is it not a part of the government's uh, is it not responsibility of the government under 48 to ban it yes under 48 they have framed the law under the law it have it has they have banned it and now we are we are questioning it rather than questioning it you are questioning the intention you are questioning the intention as well as you are just raking up the uh, feelings of the uh, sentiments of the hindus i mean mm. see this is there there has to be some there has to be some reason behind it and the reason is simple it is appeal sure. politics i am telling you again and again sure. they have to cater to the it's needs it's the same allegation that both the congress and the bjp seem to be making against the other is the issue the implementation or the intention is the issue the law in itself or the comment or the analogy that uh, karnataka's new minister has made the controversy continues to brew but i thank you both gentlemen for joining us here on this broadcast with your perspective the controversy like i said will simmer because the bjp has also now called for protests over the comment that uh, the minister has made listen in to some of those reactions ಯಾವುದೇ ಒಂದು ವಿಚಾರಣೆ ಕೋರ್ಟ್ ಇತ್ಯರ್ಥ ಆಗಲಿಕ್ಕೆ ಬಾಕಿ ಇದ್ದ ಸಂದರ್ಭದಲ್ಲಿ ಯಾವುದೇ ಒಬ್ಬ ವ್ಯಕ್ತಿಗೆ ರಾಜಕಾರಣ ಇರ್ಬೋದು ಯಾವುದೇ ಅಧಿಕಾರಿಗೆ ಆ ಬಗ್ಗೆ ಕಮೆಂಟ್ ಮಾಡಲಿಕ್ಕೆ ಆ ಬಗ್ಗೆ ಪ್ರತಿಕ್ರಿಯೆ ಕೊಡಲಿಕ್ಕೆ ಅಧಿಕಾರಗಳು ಇರುವುದಿಲ್ಲ ಸಂದರ್ಭದಲ್ಲಿ ಅವರು ಮತ್ತೊಮ್ಮೆ ಸುಪ್ರೀಂ ಕೋರ್ಟಲ್ಲಿರುವ ಹಿಜಾಬ್ ವಿಚಾರಕ್ಕೆ ಸಂಬಂಧಪಟ್ಟಂತೆ ಮತ್ತು ಮತ್ತು ಅದಕ್ಕೆ ಆ ಬಗ್ಗೆ ಹೇಳಿಕೆಗಳನ್ನು ಕೊಡ್ತಿಲ್ಲ ಸಂದರ್ಭದಲ್ಲಿ ಕಾನೂನಿನ ಬಗ್ಗೆ ತಿಳಿದುಕೊಂಡು ಒಬ್ಬ ಜವಾಬ್ದಾರಿ ಸಚಿವ ಮಾತಾಡೋದು ಉತ್ತಮ ಏಕೆಂದರೆ ಇವ
ಅದನ್ನು ಗಮನಿಸ್ತಿದ್ದಾರೆ ಆ ಸಂದರ್ಭದಲ್ಲಿ ಮಾಧ್ಯಮದ ಮೂಲಕ ನಾನು ತಿಳಿಸ್ತೇನೆ ಕೇವಲ ಚುನಾವಣೆಯಲ್ಲಿ ಅವ್ರು ಗೆದ್ದ ತನ ಅವರಿಗೆ ನಮ್ಮ ರಾಜ್ಯ ಮಾರಿದಂಥ ಅದರ ಮುನ್ನ ಎಂ ಪಿ ಚುನಾವಣೆಯಲ್ಲಿ ನಮ್ಮ ಒಗ್ಗಟ್ಟು ನಾವೇನೆಲ್ಲ ಮುಂದಿನ ದಿನಗಳಲ್ಲಿ ಇನ್ನು ಸಮಾಜದ ರಕ್ಷಣೆ ಇರ್ಬೋದು ರಾಷ್ಟ್ರೀಯ ಚಿಂತನೆಯಲ್ಲಿ ಕೆಲಸ ಮಾಡಿ ಎಲ್ಲರೂ ಸೇರಿಕೊಂಡು ಇದಕ್ಕೆ ತಕ್ಕ ಪಾಠವನ್ನು ನಾಳಿನ ಚುನಾವಣೆಯಲ್ಲಿ ನಾವು ನೀಡಲಿಕ್ಕಿದ್ದೇವೆ